What is up, you bulbous, hairy hemorrhoids? I'm Stud. Hey, welcome to the motherfucking McStud show. Bulbous, hairy hemorrhoids. I hope there's a fucking dingleberry hanging from that goddamn cocksucker, too. But first, uh, excuse you, a tasty beverage. I don't have nothing to say, except your mom sucks good dick. <clears throat> it's Wednesday, motherfuckers. Cheers, bitches. If I don't spit over it, it's the living. Shh. Mm. That is delicious. Anyways, it's Wednesday, motherfuckers. Hump day. Happy hump day. Go hump something. I don't give a fuck. Hump Henry. Hump your grandma. Hump the old lady trying to cross the street, okay? I don't give a fuck. Just hump something. For the fuck of fuck shit. Ass twat ballickers. The week is midway through, motherfuckers. And today is International Woman's Day. Women's Day, Woman's Day, Women's Day, International Women's Day. Um, it, this is pretty fucking awesome, really. Except for the fact that I'm extremely motherfucking disappointed. Not once was I offered a single motherfucking sandwich from a woman today. International Women's Day. Where's my motherfucking sandwich? You know, I feel kind of uh, cheated. Anyways, that's okay. Today is a day that all women come together in unity to meet in their kitchens. Ready and willing to cook dinner. And uh, hit those dishes afterwards. Next, they will proceed to grab the vacuum and... Suck the fun out of everything and everyone that they come in contact with. You know? And lastly, before bed, the almighty, almighty, bitchin' moan and nag session. Uh, this will conclude International Women's Day activities for women everywhere. Um, I'm just kidding, ladies. Don't get your panties all in a wad. A bundle, a jumble, a fucking crusty pile of shit. You know, today is actually a fucking day to celebrate women and all of their fucking amazingness, for real. Real talk. You know, I gotta, I gotta be honest, though, just like motherfucking Valentine's Day, something like this should be celebrated every day and not just once a fucking year. <clears throat> Nothing against men at all. There are plenty of men who have taken on roles that are tra traditionally uh, held by women. But women truly do kick ass every motherfucking day. Uh... I would like to clarify just a little bit, though. Today excludes raggedy bitches, conniving hoes, and hateful cunts, and just all the rotten eggs out there of the female gender. gender. <clears throat> and again, also to clarify, you know, men have all those same rotten eggs as well. But seriously, though, get out there and celebrate these amazing motherfucking women in your lives. Not just today, but every fucking day. Uh, respect the hustle bitches. Ugh. And I was working today. I don't know what made me think of it, but I got to thinking about Morgan Freeman. Now what he, what he, he, he does some narrations, narrating things. He's good. Like it's good to hear him like read books. Just his voice is powerful and it's recognizable and it just grabs your attention. What was it? March of the fucking penguins or some shit he did. And we kind of, he narrate, narrated uh, and acted in uh, the Shawshank Redemption. That was really good, you know, amongst other things. But my real question was, uh, what if Morgan Freeman were to narrate some gay midget porn? And motherfuckers, you are in luck. I found the footage right here. Uh, Y'all can listen. As James walked in, all for a foot five inches of him. He saw Dave standing nude in front of him. Dave's balls hung down to just above his knees. But here resembling a thicket of thorn bushes just ready to be sucked. It was at this point that James bent Dave over and began to pummel his booty hole in a motion that resembled a rabbit. In a matter of seconds, James pulled his winner out of Dave's booty and jammed it into his mouth, filling it with warm and gravy. You know, I never thought I'd hear Morgan Freeman say, 
filling his mouth with warm man gravy. But we have heard that now. We have heard it. Um, wow. That was, that was powerful. And I think we need more of a, that uh, Morgan Freeman narrating. That's pretty amazing. I, I like it. Like, that's almost... I wouldn't watch the porn, but you could just put it on and listen to it just to hear him in his comical manner narrate the fucking of two fellows. <clears throat> and speaking of men, I know it's Wednesday. <clears throat> it's not Monday. But I'm just going to take this time to speak about The Motherfucking Bachelor. A show that features a man dating many women at once, many times sex is involved, watched by women everywhere who just want one man and hate the exact type of man featured on the motherfucking show. And this Bachelor Nation bullshit, what the fuck is that? A nation of fucking idiots that come together every Monday night to shove fondue up their fuckholes? That nation is about as useful <clears throat> as a nation of fucking people that were supposed to storm Area 51 a few years back. You know, shut the fuck up and watch a show y'all can learn from and it'll make you a better person. Just go ahead and pull up Google and type in Maximum Extreme Elimination and watch that shit. You can thank me later, fuck sticks. That show is fucking hilarious and fucking awesome and I wish they'd bring it back. <clears throat> Don't have any drunken stories tonight. <clears throat> Sorry, rugby. Couldn't really think of any. But I do have a couple questions for Ask McStud. Um, so, shit. <clears throat> so uh <clears throat> this one is from worried in wyoming uh, nick stud my wife is hanging out with my neighbor lately who just happens to be a man i think they may be fucking what should i do well worried in wyoming that's pretty fucking simple you go over there and barge right to that motherfucking door, butt-ass naked. <laughs> God damn, this fucking group I'm in is annoying. Um, you march right in that motherfucking house, butt-ass naked, and if they are fucking, you sit in the motherfucking corner like a cuck you are and fucking sit and watch it till they cream pies that bitch and you can go over there and lick it out, you big fucking pussy. You should have fucking dealt with this already worried in Wyoming. What the fuck is your problem? Grow a pair of fucking balls, approach the motherfuckers, and... Handle it like a motherfucking man. Stop being worried. <clears throat> See. Next, we have uh, Hank in Arizona. Hank says, My wife has this lump on her pussy lip that is the size of a golf ball. She always wants me to go down on her and suck it. But I think that's disgusting. Uh... How do I get her to get it removed? That's an interesting question you got there, Hank. Um, <laughs> well, <clears throat> one option is just go down there and suck on it like she's asking you to. And then bite that motherfucker off. But I think a much more fun way would involve you potentially removing it. Um, find you a, a nice nine iron. Nine iron should do the trick. Or a, a putting wedge or a sand wedge. Probably better. One of those two. Probably a sand wedge I'd go with. Um, don't tell her what you're doing. Just take her out back and have her uh, get you a little step stool so you're kind of up high. Have her put her legs up in the air. Like you got her up and you about to fucking put those legs down by her, her knees down by her fucking head and just lick the shit out of her pussy. And while she's in that position, you get on that fucking step stool, you take your fucking sandwich, you just fucking <laughs> smack that motherfucking golf ball lump off her pussy. She will love you forever. And that will solve your motherfucking problem. I hope that helped you guys. Um, Yeah, I'm going to get off here. I got a shower. I got to eat. I got my video done a little early tonight, which is nice. Um, I made cheesy jambalaya last night with a uh, cheddar smoked sausage which is stellar too i did try the four pepper smoked sausage the last time i made jambalaya that was pretty fucking tasty as well 
wasn't as spicy as I thought it would be. It was actually spicier if you cut it up and like fried it up and made sandwiches with it than it was actually in the jambalaya. But it was still good, had a good flavor. So if you guys want some good spicy smoked sausage sandwiches, get that four pepper smoked sausage. I recommend it. Um, anyways, motherfuckers, I'm gonna jump off here, get done what I need to get done. And remember, Dorothy in the streets, Blanche in the sheets, bitches. Anyways, I'm extended, and I'll catch you bitches later. Deuces, motherfuckers, oh my god, my balls!